The following video uses a clinical case study to demonstrate how OCT can be applied in a case of acute vision loss. A 70-year-old female presents at your practice with sudden vision loss and a central scotoma. The patient is a poor historian but had noted changing vision for several weeks. Standard vision acuity is 636 right, 66 left and interocular pressures are normal. The reason for visiting the practice is deteriorating vision. Previous ocular history has nothing to report and nothing in family history. General health, the patient is undergoing treatment for elevated cholesterol and blood pressure and they are retired. We'll first select the infrared reflectance image from the image icons. The most noticeable appearance is area of absorption of the infrared light at the center of the image in a ring form. There is a bright, really reflective central circular lesion visible. The multicolor image now demonstrates a similar shaped ring-like lesion, now colored green. The central lesion appears to be bright red in color. When we visualize the infrared reflectance from the multicolor wavelengths, we notice the absorption of the infrared light. The ring pattern is less easily discriminated on the green reflectance or on the blue reflectance, but there is dramatically reduced reflectance in the location of the central lesion. The OCT image on the fundus reference image demonstrates the same ring-like lesion. The OCT has a normal abnormal scan profile and foveal profile. There's a clearly visible posterior vitreous detachment and full thickness retinal defect with a central highly reflective structure above the full thickness retinal defect consistent with an operculum. Retinal cross sections show interretinal cysts at the level of the inner nuclear layer and outer nuclear layer. The cysts in the outer nuclear layer have flat bottoms, which is consistent with vitreum macular traction. The fellow eye, the infrared reflectance image, shows a normal reflectance distribution with no obvious visible macular lesion. The multicolor image shows a normal coloration and a normal macular pigment appearance. The infrared reflectance shows no obvious lesion. The macular pigment is demonstrated more clearly on the green, but most particularly on the blue reflectance. The OCT reference image shows no obvious lesion and the overall scan profile and foveal profile look normal. There's normal retinal thickness and no obvious interretinal changes. Within the vitreous cavity we can visualize a partial posterior vitreous detachment with a firm attachment at the fovea. Following the structural analysis you have observed in this video, what would be your differential diagnosis, diagnosis and advice to the patient? Would you monitor, review or discharge the patient from your care?